Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing part two of my What If the Ghosts Characters Did Taskmaster. So last episode I did the first five characters and in this episode I'm going to be doing the remaining five characters and these are Alison, Mike, Pat, Kitty and Fanny. The idea behind this series is to take characters from other TV shows and pit them against each other in a Taskmaster style rankings and judge how I think they would do. As I said in the last episode, I will be judging it based how I think um, Greg will score it rather than how personally I would score it. Um, so yeah, going off how like his typical scoring methods, even though he can be a bit inconsistent, but I do try my best. So I'll be going from fifth place all the way up to first place. And I will say for this uh, set of contestants, it was definitely a lot more difficult to differentiate between who I think would be better. There was, I, I'm still not 100% on my rankings, but I, I think I've got people generally in the right place. I definitely found scoring the previous set a lot easier. I felt like they were a lot more clear and distinct in where they should be. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, into fifth place. And for fifth place, I have put Fanny. And this is quite a difficult one. This was between Fanny and Kitty, um, kind of for a similar reason of why I paired up the captain and Julian in the sense that they, I think they would approach it in complete opposite ways and I'm not 100% sure which one would be perfect but I've gone with putting Fanny in fifth place. The main reason for this is because even though I think she is very smart, I think she had that episode where she's really good at like detecting things and I really love that. I think she's such a smart person, she's very well read. She, I think she'd be very good um, at knowing what to do um, and she'd be able to boss Alex around and tell him how to do the tasks. But I think the biggest thing with Fanny is that I think she would refuse to do a lot of the tasks. Um, a lot of the tasks require a contestant to embarrass themselves, be silly, um, you know, do like stupid stuff. And I just don't think she would do it. Like there are so many tasks that are a bit disgusting, like the ones where they have to like taste all the different like ice creams and stuff like that, that are horrible flavors. She wouldn't do that. I just don't think she would do them. Uh, so that's the main reason why I think she would come in fifth place because even though I think she could do well, I just don't think she would actually do many of the tasks. I think she would just outright refuse. However, I do think she'd be very good at the prize tasks. I think she'd have lots of really cool ideas of what to bring people, um, like bring in the prize tasks. Um, so I think in that aspect she'll be doing, she'll do very well. Um, and I think in tasks where if it was like an escape room task or something like that, I think she'd be amazing. But overall, there are a lot of tasks that she would just not do. Um, and that's why she's in, she's in last place in this set. I do think that in the series, she is growing to be a bit more like sillier. She's getting involved in like the singing and dancing a lot more. But yeah, I think she was, won't do anything that would be deemed unladylike or potentially scandalous. Um, so yeah, she just wouldn't do that. But I do think she would get points from, again, Alex to do stuff. Uh, so in that that aspect, I think she'd do very well. So moving on to fourth place, and in fourth place I have put Kitty. Um, as I said, it's just opposite reasons of with um, Fanny, because um, I think she'd just have a really, really good time doing fun challenges and yeah, I think in that case she'd be very good. She's a bit impulsive. I think she'd just go along with it, just have fun with it. And I think that'd be very good. I think it'd be very enjoyable to watch as well. However, I do think she would get scored down by Greg. Greg tends to like score down younger people. Um, so I think he would score down um, her just like he did with Lolly when she actually went on the show. Um, so that's the main reasoning for why I think she slightly beats Fanny is because she would just go along with it and have fun. Um, and get points along the way. I think she would be quite good at the prize task and she would do well in team tasks, whereas I think Fanny probably wouldn't do the best at team tasks. Um, but yeah, I definitely think Kitty would do very well in that aspect. Her main downfall will be that she's just like off with the fairy, she gets easily distracted. So in terms of timed tasks, she might not do that well, but I think she will do the tasks, which is where I think she'd get more points than Fanny because Fanny just wouldn't do them, whereas Kitty would, but probably not as well as everybody else. Kitty is definitely getting a lot more confident and more sure of herself. So I think she will be a bit more confident in her ideas and not like doubt herself. Um, and especially like what we're seeing with her like dramatic actress persona and her like celebrity agent persona, she is definitely getting a lot more driven. And I think that will play well in Taskmaster. 
Um, I also think she's just got such a wild imagination that while yes, half the time she might be off distracted, the other times it will serve her very well, especially when it comes to like creative tasks like art and dancing and singing. I think she'd do very well in those tasks. Uh, yeah, so that's why she's in fourth place. In third place, I have put Mike. Mike, again, is a bit of a mixed bag. I think there's things that he'd do really well, but then I th there's things that, and parts of his personality that I think would make him lose points. The main issue I think with Mike is that he is just very impulsive. He kind of does a lot of things without thinking ahead. And that I think would get him, like would make him lose points. So for example, when he signed like for the bank loan, when he brought the bear into the house, he gets carried away with ideas um, that aren't necessarily good. You know, like buying the inflatable ball thing and, and stuff like that. He, he He's very impulsive. And I don't think when it's in like a task environment, he would like think of what the best idea is. He would just kind of go along with, with whatever he thinks. And that I think would be a disadvantage. A lot of the time Mike in the show is portrayed as a bit useless. I think mainly to do with the fact that he is quite impulsive. Um, but I do think he's gaining a lot of skills. His DIY skills, for example, have like drastically improved since the first like few episodes. Um, and he does seem to be a good cook for the most part. Um, obviously there's things with like them when he tried to make the tofu eggs that it didn't really work. But his Christmas dinner that he cooked in the most recent episode and yeah, in, in a couple of the Christmas episodes looked amazing. So he's definitely skillful in that sense. And he can be quite organized um, when he planned out the Christmas day that he was planning. So in, in that aspect, I think he would do really well, which is why he's above Kitty and Fanny. Um, but yeah, I think there's lots of things that maybe might be a bit of a disadvantage. The main part of his personality that I think would suit him really well on the show is that he's not afraid to give anything a go. He often does a lot of like embarrassing, silly things and some things that were a bit like disgusting. For example, when he made that smoothie thing to be able to see the ghosts, like, that was pretty disgusting. Um, a lot of people wouldn't do that, but he did it. So I think in that aspect, it would suit Taskmaster very well. I think he'd have a really good like banterous relationship with Greg and Alex in the tasks as well. Um, and I think he would work pretty well as a team. He wouldn't be the best team player, but I do think he would uh, contribute quite a lot. Um, I'm not too sure about like the prize tasks, but in the studio tasks, I think he'd do quite well. Um, I think he, Mike would definitely like work off the, um, of like the studio audience and stuff like that. I, d I get that vibe from him, uh, but that might just because I, that's what I'm expecting from Kyle when he goes on Taskmaster. <laughs> um, but I think there's loads of aspects that would suit him very well. Um, like he, he can cook, which I think would play well. And he is quite creative in some parts as well. But a lot of the time, especially with the panto, I get the impression that he wouldn't really want to get up and like sing and dance and stuff. But I definitely feel like he's got a lot of really good aspects of his character that would play very well on Taskmaster. In second place, I have put Alison. Alison is a great character. I think she she would do really well on the show. I think there's loads of different things part about her character that do that would just serve her very well on the show. First things first, I think she's just very like resilient. She has gone through a lot, I think. Um, like obviously, she's obviously lost a lot of her family, um, but, and she's also has to deal with a lot with the ghosts. So I feel like she'd definitely persevere and push through some of the more like challenging tasks. Um, and in this aspect as well, she has a lot of patience. So I definitely feel like that would play well, uh, quite well as well. She's also very, very creative. Uh, she's a really good painter. She's a really good singer. Uh, she can play the piano. So in, in the terms of the creative tasks, I think she'd do really well. And she is building her skill set a lot as well. Similar to Mike, her DIY and like organization skills have definitely seemed to improve a lot since the first few episodes. You know, they're renovating a house together, like a massive house together and running a B&B. &B. There's obviously a lot of like organizational skills needed there. Um, and I definitely think that aspect will play well in Taskmaster. Alison is very fun. I think she's not afraid to be silly. You know, she's playing with the giant orbs. Um, she's not afraid to embarrass herself. And last but certainly not least, I think she would be absolutely amazing at the prize tasks. Like looking at all the gifts that she's got for like the ghosts and how thoughtful and how much they relate to the personality. I think she'd be able to get like really, really good prize tasks. They're obviously not like the biggest scorer because there's only like one per episode, but I just feel like she would get the majority of the points in that, which would serve her very well. 
Um, I think her main weakness would be, again, a little bit with Mike, a bit impulsive. Um, and yeah, I just think sometimes she doesn't fully think things through, which I think most of the time isn't a disadvantage. It's not as bad as Mike, but I do think, feel like in certain tasks, she will not score as many points. So that means in first place is Pat. And this to me was a no brainer. I think Pat would probably be the winner out of all the ghosts um, because he just has so many practical skills. Being a scout leader, he's obviously got loads of really good practical skills like fire building and you know being able to put up um, like a tent. Like he has a lot of really good outdoor skills that I think would work very well. Like he can apply them to a lot of tasks. Pat also follows the rules very well. Um, he like he's like a stickler for the rules. He's very organised. So I don't think you would have any issues with Pat like breaking the rules either on purpose or by accident. I think he would do pretty well in following the rules of the tasks and staying within the realms of it and also thinking outside the box, which is like a hard thing to balance. But I think he'd do really well at that. I think the main issue with Pat, um, the main thing that I think would score him less points, like while he is like a very good people person, I think he'd get on well with teammates. He might be afraid to kind of like go above them or upset them or like kind of like just dim diminish their ideas. So in that case, I think he might lose a few more points, but overall, I think he'd do really well in team tasks. Like he's quite good at taking charge and also kind of listening um, to other people's ideas as well. Pat is also very dedicated whenever he's kind of like assigned a task by Alison. Uh, he often, you know, takes it very seriously and does his best to try and do what he can for Alison. So I think in that, that would play very well in the tasks. I think he would really want to complete the task to like the best of his ability. Um, so I think he'd get loads of points in that. He's also very creative, like we've seen with the pantomime, with like singing. Um, and yeah, so I think all of that would play very well and get him loads of points. So that's why he's in first place. Um, and I think he deserves it as well. Uh, yeah, there's loads of things that he does really well, loads of aspects of his character that would work very well on Taskmaster and get him lots of points. So those are my rankings. I'm expecting there to be like a bit more like disagreements with this one than in my previous one, just because I thought these characters were a lot more difficult to distinguish between and work out who would do better. Um, but overall, I'm quite happy with my rankings. Again, it's mainly Kitty and Vanny. I can't like work out because there's so many great parts of their characters which would get them loads of points, but there's also things that would, I think, be a bit of a detriment to them in the show. Um, but yeah, those are my rankings. Let me know in the comments what you think of them, who you would put in first place. And again, comment down below any other shows you want me to do this for. I really enjoy making these videos, so I'll definitely want to do more of these. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. It's really appreciated. And subscribe if you want to see more videos to do with Ghosts, Taskmaster, TV. I'll have some more out for you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.